I have COVID for the first time. I tested six days ago, positive. I wasn't feeling well and I had the at-home kits and I figured, let me check it out. I'm not happy about this. This is not cool. I was priding myself for so long for being like this tough cookie that just never got COVID. You know, oh, I've got such a great immune system, you know? Some people I know have gotten COVID a couple of times. Um, and I don't think I, that should matter, right? One time, two times, three times, whatever, I got it. Oh, I'm so disappointed about it because I don't like being restricted. I don't like, you know, feeling like I gotta wear a mask in, in the supermarket or anything. And this weekend I was supposed to go to a party and I really wanted to go to this party and it doesn't look like by Sunday this will lift. So I just wanted to come to the camera, I guess, you know, this is like therapy to me. Uh, my talks to you and my uh, my stuff, my shenanigans, <laughs> the occurrences in my life. I like to share them with y'all. Y'all seem to be interested. I'm grateful. So that's one thing I wanted to share about that trans mama has COVID. <laughs> not fun, not fun. And then uh, I don't think I've shared about the super's sons, the superintendent of my building has two very attractive sons. I'm attracted to both of them. Uh, they're in their 20s, probably. One for sure is 24. The other one might be a little younger. They're both so beautiful. They're such good guys, such good, like decent young men. Who knows? But any, anyway, one in particular, uh, there's been a, a dialogue back and forth with him for the last couple of years. He asked me out on a date and I was dating somebody, so I told him no. And then I'm um, not dating anybody and we still say hi to each other. And he's been uh, knocking on my door, uh, like an Aretha Franklin song, until you come back to me. I want to tell you, baby, the changes I've been going through, baby. Because I want to date you, Soraya, till you come back to me and say, yes, I'm going to keep knocking on your door. <laughs> hey, Soraya, I still like you. And it's been two years and I've had this crazy, 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 crazy crush on you. Here I am, 6.30 in the evening with a cold bottle of wine. I wanna make you mine, yeah. Though you don't say yes to me, I'll keep trying. And you gave me your number, so I'll send you some texts too. I'm gonna send you a message with uh, one of those little smiley things that has tears coming down its eyes. Tears coming down its eyes. Cause I've been watching you for two years and I came to your door with a bottle of wine to say how pretty and kind you are, baby. Till you say yes to me, I'll keep knocking on your door. <laughs> That's exactly what's been going on. He came to my door with a bottle of wine. Almost two weeks ago, when I started, no, it was a week before I started getting sick. He came to my door with a bottle of wine, confessing his attraction to me, how beautiful I am, how he has a crush on me, how he wants to go out with me. <laughs> I got so excited. I got such an erection. It went, bam! <laughs> oh, this 24-year-old knows how to do it, and I can't touch him because he's the super son. He lives in the building. He lives in the building, yo. I can't do that. His parents will be not cool with this. They know something's going on because I complained about him because one time he came to my door at 5 a.m. intoxicated and they denied that it was him. And he denied that it was him. I know it was him, honey. I may be silly with a learning disability, but my eyes could still see. <laughs> You know, shit. I know what the, what the hell I'm looking at. That's the super sun. And the, I look to the people. No, it's the super sun. He's so cute. I can't let him in. No, he's intoxicated. 
Oh, God. You know, out of all the men in the world, right? <sighs> anyway, I thought that was just a lovely gesture, and I let him know, but I gave him my phone number. I shouldn't have done that. All right, y'all. So I'm going to end it here. I wanted to go out this weekend and stuff, but it looks like I'm going to have to chill out. I have the at-home kits. They're very hard to find now. So I, I don't want to test again until like next week, mid next week. Well, you know what? In the grand scheme, like I said, I never got it before. So, you know, it caught up to me, I guess. <laughs> so the strain is that tricky now that that's what's happening, you know? So anyway, my love, I want you all to really be careful out there, right? COVID is still out there. So be careful, get your home kits, and make sure you take care of yourself, be nice to other people. <sighs> yeah, and if you're gonna court someone, yeah, do it the right way like this young man did. He came to my door with a bottle of wine to tell me that I've had a crush on you and I think you're beautiful and I would like to take you out. And when I told him that I don't drink alcohol, he's like, well, how about, I said, oh, you know, I'm only, I, we can go on a coffee date. He goes, I'll make, I'll make coffee for you, any kind you want. You know, so cute, so cute. That's the way you do it. That's the way you treat a lady. That's the way you treat a lady. Let me tell you, with this COVID little thing going on and I was feeling so crappy, I was like, I wanted to call him because I know if I called him and said, bring me a can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup and can you heat it up for me, please? He would have done it. He would have done it. Oh. Anyway. Soraya plans and God laughs. <laughs> Take care, y'all. Bye.